Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 12. So on day 11, we introduced you to the Smart Plan applet and some basic actions, delays, best practices inside of Smart Plans. Today, we're going to dive into the library of Smart Plans where you can find previously created and ready to go Smart Plans that you can utilize for your contacts and business. So let's do so by diving into the fourth applet. Remember, it's this little diploma looking icon to get into the Smart Plans applet. And when we first come in, we're going to see the My Smart Plans tab. Now, yesterday, day 11, we created a sort of fake plan here to show you the touches and actions that were available. So you can see that plan is now listed here. If we choose to, we can actually come in and make edits to the plan by clicking on the pencil or we can click on the three dots and decide to make a copy of that plan. We can choose to publish it to the library or we can delete it. Now, the reason you're seeing both copy and publish and the ability to add contacts, which is this first icon all grayed out, is because we actually don't have any actual steps or actions inside the plan that we created. So if we went in and we just saved a, let's just say we're gonna make a call and call, call, we'll do a quick save and come back. And you can see now it's in our list and we can add people to the plan and we could choose to make a copy or publish to the library. Speaking of library, the second tab over is our library tab. So we're gonna open this tab and we're gonna see four main sections inside the Smart Plan library. The first is the featured section where you have eight Smart Plans that KW has selected that other agents have created that they want to feature for your potential use. The second section is a Keller Williams section of smart plans that have been created by KWRI. So you can see there are actually 10 plans here. Anytime you're looking at this screen, you may have four, you might have three depending on your screen resolution, but either way, you can click on these arrows to sort through the plans that might be listed. Next up, you've got a top rated section of smart plans. So you can see these 2,646 smart plans um, have all been rated well via the star system here. So you can see you can give stars. Um, this doesn't get updated regularly. So you can see you know, some of our smart plans are from all the way back in 2021 that were top rated. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, we've also got the what's new section another section to really take with a grain of salt this is just the most recently uploaded smart plan to the library sometimes people upload smart plans to the library for sharing with all of keller williams sometimes people upload smart plans to share with their teams sometimes they're just looking to move a smart plan from personal to the team side so i would be hesitant on these two sections you're probably really going to want to stick to the Keller Williams section or filter or search by a specific smart plan use. So let's say we were running a Facebook ad campaign and we wanted a follow up smart plan around Facebook leads. If we just typed in the word Facebook, for example, you can see that we can then get a series of results, almost 800 smart plans that have the word Facebook in the name. We can also choose to sort by author name or description. So if we did author name, uh, let's do a shout out to my good friend and fellow RTT, Kimber Walton. She's got an amazing series of smart plans. Her 36 touch, I highly recommend seven, eight and nine is her most recent version. You can see those if you scroll down to the bottom of her smart plans. Uh, but anything Kimber puts together, great plans here. Uh, definitely check those out. Give her a, uh, give her a hard, uh, give her a five star rating. She's a good friend. So you can search for smart plans by author name. Finally, you can search by description keywords. So if you were looking to, well, we still have Kimber Walton in here, and you can see here's Kimber Walton smart plan that's being used by Joe. So Joe is actually publishing his version of the Kimber Walton smart plan. Um, if I search description for the word Facebook as another example. Again, almost 700 smart plans that have the word Facebook in it. So that's how you can sort of go through. Now, key smart plans that I really want to draw your attention to are in this Keller Williams section. The Neighborhood Nurture is one of the most powerful smart plans. We're going to spend some more time on that here in the future. 
uh, but you've got a bi-weekly version of that and a monthly version, so every 14 days or every 30 days. We've got an eight by eight new contact engagement smart plan that you can take a look at here, basically one touch a week for eight weeks in a row. The quarterly call plan fires a call task for any contact added to it, and it fires that task every 30 days without fail. So you'll just continue to have tasks showing up for those important contacts that you wanna reach every quarter. <clears throat> the midterm nurture smart plan, uh, that's a multi-step smart plan that goes for about 30 days with multiple touches included in it. Long-term nurture goes a little bit longer. Then you've got the birthday smart plan. You can fire that smart plan for anyone that you have a birthday in your database. Again, we talked about monthly neighborhood nurture. Finally, to round out the Keller Williams sections, you've got the open house follow-up, the home anniversary, and promote my app. Now, any one of these smart plans or any smart plan for the same purposes, you can download or before you download, you can view the steps. So if you click on view steps, it's actually going to show you this one sends an email, then it waits 14 days and then it starts over. If it's an HTML email, you're not going to get a preview of what the email actually says. But if it's a simple email, you will actually get a preview of what the email at least starts with. In addition, if you have a smart plan that includes texts, you can view steps and it'll actually show you what the text is. So this is the open house follow up. It sends a text right off the bat and you can see what the text example is. Now let's say that this is a smart plan we wanted to use for our business. We could click on add smart plan. This smart plan actually incorporates two additional smart plans that are embedded inside of it. So because we don't have either of these downloaded yet, we'll have to click on download to download the neighborhood nurture for the monthly version. And then we'll have to click on download for the long-term nurture. Once we've downloaded these two, then it will allow us to download the open house follow-up. Now that we have all three of those smart plans in our personal library, we can switch tabs. And now you can see the three smart plans that we have. We can click on this arrow on the left-hand side and see all of the steps. And we can choose to actually edit any of the previously created steps to make it sound more like us. So the open house follow-up starts off with a text it says, hey, contact first name, thanks for coming by. What did you think of the open house? I might decide that I actually want to add my name to this text message, Marty Miller with KW. And now I can make say I can save the changes to this smart plan where I've put my touch on it, but the core tenants of the smart plans are still here and available. I could add steps, I could remove steps, I could change steps add additional delays, change the amount of the current delays. There's a lot of things obviously that you could do with the smart plan once you download it to make it your own. So that's today, day 12 of the 66 day challenge 8.0, the smart plan library, how to download, view, and make changes to previously published smart plans. Look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thanks so much.